them all. I have edited one. I did, I did one, right, mate? I've done this. I've done this. I don't know, fuck, class, I just made it up. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know I was doing it. I was like, fuck, I'm just going to try to shoot you. Stepping across, stepping, stepping. And I was like, shit, I looked really good. So I've boxed since the age of 10 years old, all my life. And when I got to the age of 27, that's when I retired. I had a very successful amateur boxing career. Uh, I won seven national titles, a European gold medal, an Olympic bronze medal, and then turned professional after that in 2009, when I had 10 pro fights. I was undefeated in all 10 fights. You're done, Larry. You want to go to the outside right now, oh, okay. rather than the inside, because right. then it's going to put you on the inside of the wrist. Does that make yep. sense? Yeah. So rather than going this way when you finish learning, go to the outside. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it'll put you on the wrong side. I moved out here about six years ago and kind of moved out here on a limb. Didn't really know what I was going to do. Just knew I wanted to get out of where I was from and, and do something different and ended up just packing my car and moving to L.A. Um, when I moved here, it was during the lockout and I was, um, you know, I just came from University of Kentucky working with the basketball program there. Uh, and got connected with an agent out here. So I was working with some of those players. I had different, a few different jobs at um, other just kind of various gyms and then kind of settled down at another gym in Santa Monica um, and really got involved with the boxing program there. And, you know, I, I began boxing in college and just kind of stuck with it just for kind of a means of fitness and just kind of get that competitive edge out a little bit. But really just found myself loving doing the boxing training and the style of classes that we were doing there. I had bad hands for, for years and then uh, I had to get surgery on my hands. My hands got to the point where I couldn't turn a key, I couldn't button my trousers, couldn't zip a top. So I had to get surgery on my hands after 10 pro fights and I got surgery hoping that my hands would recover and I moved to America while I was waiting for them to recover and they never did. But in that time while I was waiting, I was looking for work to do you know, and I never had finished school with any qualifications. Uh, with, with, with any plan B, all I had was a plan A, which was boxing. But one thing that I always am a stick, I'm a stickler about, and I think it's really important, is make sure you hit some sort of rotation. And at that time, Tony came in uh, and started working at that gym. So that's where we had met, um, and we just kind of hit it off from, from day one, and kind of had similar uh, visions of what we wanted to create. And, um, you know, we just realized and saw from day one how um, rewarding and, and kind of gratifying it was for the, the members that were taking those classes. So we knew there was something there and, you know, it became something great. There's another, there's another teacher that you're looking at. All right, Delmar. I was looking for work. I went to a, a few gyms, applied for, for jobs, and then I seen there was a boxing program in a place called Iron Gym in Santa Monica, so I went for there and they're saying, oh, he's an Olympian, yeah, they brought me in straight away. And when I was in there, Kevin was there, he ran the boxing program there and it was, it was pretty successful. And I remember Kevin used to work his arse off, he, he, was, he was always the first one there, the last one to leave, making sure everything was ran smoothly. And uh, me and Kevin got on very well. And, uh, that gym started to change the rules and, uh, and the, the policies and stuff, so I, I, I left. I was speaking to Kevin, Kev, let's, let's go and start a boot camp on Santa Monica Beach on the Bluffs. Uh, and we'll open our own gym. And Kev was like, all right, let's, let's do it. So Kev ended up leaving there as well. We started a boot camp on the Santa Monica Bluffs, which got very successful very fast. This was July 2012. And as the boot camp got bigger, um, me and Kevin, we used to drive around for hours and hours around the streets of LA looking for a potential location for a, a, a gym to take it from the bluffs to a facility. We finally found one and uh, then we moved in there and that was kind of the start of, of Boxing Burn. This place isn't about the equipment that we have here, it's about the people. And we had a few, few other trainers, Glenn and Steven, who were with us from the beginning. And you know they're very much like-minded, like uh, as Tony and I, and they they believed in what we what we had. And you know when you've got that kind of support and you've got that kind of um, belief behind what you're doing, then you know taking the leap is not not that hard. And at the end of the day, what's the worst that's going to happen? 
All right, guys, for the last minute, combinations are up to you. Just throw everything as fast as you can. Fast hands, move your feet, set your feet for the shots. Just working on hand speed. Speed, be explosive for one minute. My Let's name go. is Glenn Holmes. I'm the fitness director at Box and Burn in Santa Monica, California. I've been with the gym and the company since day one. I knew Tony a little bit before the gym started. He was actually training me at a different gym. Then once he left that gym, he started doing group classes on Santa Monica Beach. That's where I started making the transition to a trainer. It wasn't until probably a year in that it really hit me. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm a trainer now, you know what I mean? Like, and then full steam ahead with that. Once Tony and Kev got the gym and we were like, right, we've got a spot now. I was super excited. I was like, right, this is an actual chance to do something. So I was really exciting at the beginning. And then once the equipment started com coming in and building up and then we started getting members and it felt like a legitimate business, then it was, it was, I was like, you know, I mean, I've always been committed since the beginning, but that's when it started to get really exciting. It was kind of the perfect storm. We found Santa Monica location. Uh, we got it for an unbelievable price. Um, you know, when we moved in there, we didn't have a lot of equipment. We didn't have a lot of assets by any means. We just, we made the, the payment for the lease. We paid first and last month's rent. We had a few pieces of equipment that we had gotten, you know, over time from the bluffs and working outside and, and just doing our private training around town. And that's really all we had to start. Right now, we, we're at that stage where it's like, let's get the, the gyms running perfect, get the systems in place to get the business running as smooth as we can so we could take the back step to put our time and energy and other stuff. Uh, that's where we are now. As for the future, five years from now, I've got no idea where we where we'd be. Five years ago today, I had no idea where we would be. You know, things change all the time, things happen and I just know that Box and Burns gonna be a household name in America, hopefully in the world within the next five years.